Does the thought of mortality ever make you pause and reflect? This question, as grim as it may seem, is one that has been contemplated by philosophers, scholars and ordinary individuals alike throughout the ages. It's a topic that, while perhaps intimidating at first glance, can inspire deep contemplation leading to profound realizations about the nature of existence. This contemplation can be a catalyst for personal growth, an invitation to redefine our perspectives and redefine how we choose to live our lives. Perhaps it's a daunting concept, but pondering over it can lead to profound insights about life itself. This is an idea that is not new, but rather has stood the test of time, persisting in human consciousness throughout centuries and across cultures. It is a concept that invites us not just to contemplate death, but to consider the meaning and value of our lives in the face of it. It is a call to ponder the impermanence of life, the fleetingness of our existence, and the finite nature of our time here on Earth. Today, we delve into the depths of a philosophy that has been a part of human consciousness for millennia, the concept of memento mori. This phrase, stemming from ancient Rome, carries a weight that has resounded throughout centuries. Memento mori, a Latin phrase that translates to remember that you must die. But this isn't a morbid reminder of our impending demise. Rather, it is an invitation to live a life of purpose and authenticity. It reminds us of the fleeting nature of existence and prompts us to make the most of our time here on Earth. Originating from ancient Rome, Memento Mori is much more than just a phrase. It encapsulates an entire philosophy of life, a perspective that urges us to live in the present moment, aware of our mortality, but not consumed by it. This reflective concept serves as a poignant reminder of life's transient nature and the inevitability of death. It encourages us not to fear death, but to acknowledge its certainty and in doing so, embrace the preciousness of life. Memento Mori can be seen as a call to live with mindfulness. It implores us to be present in our lives, to savor each moment and to live with an awareness of our mortality. It encourages us to live our lives authentically, to stay true to ourselves and not to get lost in the pursuit of worldly desires and material possessions. This philosophy also suggests a balance. It encourages us to live with purpose, to strive for our goals and dreams, but also to appreciate the simple pleasures of life. It reminds us that while it's important to plan for the future, we shouldn't forget to live in the present. And finally, Memento Mori challenges the human tendency to chase worldly pursuits and the illusion of permanence. It reminds us that our time on earth is limited and that our possessions, achievements and even our bodies are transient. It encourages us not to cling to these fleeting things, but to focus on the things that truly matter. Our relationships, our passions, our personal growth and the impact we leave on the world. In essence, Memento Mori is a reminder that we are all mortal, that life is fleeting and that the time we have is precious. It implores us to live each day as if it were our last, to cherish each moment and to make the most of the time we are given. It serves as a wake-up call, a call to action and a call to live a life of purpose, authenticity and mindfulness. It encourages us to live with mindfulness, purpose and authenticity, balancing out our human tendency to chase worldly pursuits and the illusion of permanence. Art has been a powerful medium in expressing this philosophy. The tradition of Vanitas paintings which flourished in the 16th and 17th centuries in Europe, is one such example. These artworks, with their symbolic representations of life's impermanence, such as skulls, hourglasses and wilting flowers, remind viewers of the fleeting nature of earthly pleasures and the ultimate equality of all in death. Literature, too, has been a platform for memento mori. Shakespeare's Hamlet ponders mortality in his renowned soliloquy, to be or not to be, that is the question. Similarly, Herman Melville's Moby Dick presents Captain Ahab's obsessive quest for vengeance against the white whale as a manifestation of his refusal to accept mortality, a tale that warns of the dangers of denying the reality of death. Religious traditions across the world have incorporated memento mori in their teachings. Christianity, for instance, emphasizes contemplating one's mortality during the season of Lent, encouraging believers to reflect on their sinfulness and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. 
The philosophy of Memento Mori also intersects with existentialism, a school of thought that grapples with questions of human existence and the search for meaning in a seemingly indifferent universe. Thinkers like Soren Kierkegaard and Friedrich Nietzsche emphasized confronting the reality of death as a means of transcending the limitations of the human condition. In the contemporary world, Memento Mori continues to resonate. The rise in mindfulness practices and the death positive movement reflect a growing awareness of the need to embrace mortality as an integral part of the human experience. To summarize, the philosophy of Memento Mori invites us to confront our mortality with courage and humility. It teaches us that death is not something to fear or avoid, but rather an inherent aspect of life that can guide us to live more fully, authentically and purposefully. Remember, every moment matters. Make it count.